Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the post request in Cocos 2DX JavaScript which allows you to send some data, it, the data is encoded, it's not in raw URL form compared to some other requests which is fantastic because obviously you might be sending some sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, that sort of stuff via the same request you can actually return data as well so you don't need I mean from the online server that is so you don't actually need to do multiple requests which is fantastic I've already got a web server set up make sure you've obviously got access to one I've got a file on there called post.php it's at this URL you're more than welcome to use it you can just type this in plus the source code which we'll provide will have this URL so just copy and paste that in here in here we're gonna do some really simple stuff but before we actually do that we're gonna do the cocos 2 dx side so if we go here we need to set the method to post then for the URL we need to put this URL could type it in but I'm lazy so I'm just gonna copy and paste it and now we need to change the request header at the moment it's text plain we don't want that what we want is application forward slash x dash www dash form dash URL encoded because the data that was send it is going to be encoded and then we need to actually create a very ah, keep making this mistake Xcode is terrible for JavaScript code formatting so I'm just going to edit my file in a text data and then run it in Xcode so like I was saying we need to create a variable which will have our argument so I'm going to put arguments technically you could just put these in when you send it but it's just easy this way especially if you've got a lot of arguments it just helps maintain the code equals it's a string but you can specify numbers inside the string as well first of all you need to put the name of the data that you're sending essentially you can think of this as like a variable so I'm going to call it data one then assign it a value like you would assign a variable a value I'm going to assign it the value 55 if I save that in the XHR what I'm going to do is cc.log and I'm going to put networking away actually before I progress in here just remembered one last thing we actually got to send the HTTP request otherwise you won't do anything you got to do xhr.send and this takes the arguments that we created right here and now inside of here so this if statement will be called if everything is a okay you just put var response equals xhr dot response text then put cc dot log response now save that and now what we're going to do is go back to our server this is a tutorial on PHP because you don't even need to use PHP on your server side you could use another server side language so it's just about Cocos 2D X JavaScript if you want to use something else on your page on your web server it's totally up to you it's gonna get the data first I'm gonna put var1 equals dollar underscore post and it was called data one and we are going to echo out and this is returning data back to Cocos we're going to return dollar var1 plus five so if we save that as we're sending the value 55 our response will be 60 so if we just run our application as you can see we have the number 60 returned if let's say we were to change this to know, minus 9 run it we get the value minus 4 you might be thinking okay that's great had you sent multiple arguments that's really simple put ampersand and then the same steps that you took for sending this piece of data you specify the name or the the property the name of the property that you're sending so data 2 
then you assign it a value I'm gonna assign it the value 8 save that you don't need to do anything else here and I'm going to copy and paste this change this to var2 change this to 2 and I'm going to return the sum of data 1 and data 2 so if we go back to here so 55 plus 8 is 63 so in our console we should get the value 63 there you go we have the value 63 you can easily have characters in here and do whatever you want with it because maybe you're sending some scores to your server you're going to be processing them on your server and then using some mysql code and actually submitting them to a database and then possibly retrieving any new scores as well in the same request that's just one simple example if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php there will be a link in the description if you have any queries about the source code or you just want to check the source code out there'll be another link in the description so check that out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and please hit that subscribe button as it really does help us grow and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day